When a Dragon Moves In is a colorful and creative children's book that was conceived locally at Whipple Dam State Park. I sat down with author Jody Moore to find out more about the inspiration behind the story. Author Jody Moore says she started writing as soon as she could hold a crayon and has a special place in her heart for the children's book genre. Writing is just ingrained within my soul. When I was a little girl, um, a toddler, my mom worked outside the home like a lot of moms do and every single night she brought home a book for us to read together. So very, very early on in life I associated reading and books with love and I just thought to myself, if I can produce something that that fosters that same feeling between a child and their mother or father or grandparents or aunt or uncle, the, the, the important people in their life, then I've done something really special. Moore says above all else, her family has inspired her to continue writing and pursue her dreams. And her husband Larry gave her the idea for her brand new book, When a Dragon Moves In. My inspiration and my support system, they are my muses. When the boys left for college, um, my husband and I have always been very, very involved with their lives. And when they left, we went through terrible empty nests. We decided to go to Whipples. And my husband, even though we had no children with us, decided to bring our little sack of sand toys. And as what will happen when anybody built a sand castle on the beach, little children start to gravitate over. And Larry literally had an entourage of all these little toddlers of different ages and little tiny and big ones all over helping him. And at one point, um, one of the little ones took a little piece of seaweed out of the lake and stuck it into the opening. And my husband, being very, very positive with children, said, oh my gosh, that's so neat. It looks like a dragon tail. Look, a dragon moved into our castle. Moore describes the book as an imaginative story that has a few important lessons hidden within the pages. When a dragon moves in is based on the premise that if you build a perfect sand castle, a dragon will move in, and that's exactly what happens to one little boy on the beach. It's a story that walks a fine line between fantasy and reality, and it's about something that's very important to all of us, just being acknowledged for who we are. The process of turning her story into a published picture book was not always easy, and Moore says it was important for her to stay true to her vision for the story. Everyone really seemed to like this one, and so I started submitting. I had, this was not taken right away, I did have some rejections. When I heard from Flashlight, I was very sure, I even said to Larry, when I get my rejection from Flashlight, I think I have some revising to do. And when I opened up that email and my amazing editor, Sherry Dash Greensman, said, what an interesting idea, but I have to ask you, is the dragon real or imaginary? And I looked at Larry and I said, okay, here we go. And I typed quickly before I could change my mind. I really want the reader to decide, send. And then I said, okay, my rejection should be coming any day now. And it didn't. When a Dragon Moves In will be officially launched on May 1st, and Moore is also in the process of working on her next children's book, Good News Nelson. She says one of the best parts about being a writer is being able to mentor young authors. I always tell people to open their minds to the endless possibilities and open their hearts to their readers. Readers are smart. They know if you're being honest with them and you should be honest with them. If you're a young writer, um, just write, write. And the most important thing that you can do, no matter what age you are, if you want to be a writer, is read. Moore says a great deal of credit goes to her publisher and illustrator who were able to bring her ideas to life. I can't even begin to express how blessed and how lucky I am to be a part of the Flashlight family. My editor, Sherry Des Greenspan, and my amazing illustrator, Howard McWilliam basically not only took a chance on me, but crawled into my head and put down on paper what was in my heart and made my dream and my dragon come alive. While Moore is ecstatic about her published work, she says her story, more importantly, was inspired by and pays tribute to the ones she loves. It really isn't about being published, it's about sharing your story from inside. So whether you write it down, whether you draw it, whether you just tell the stories, whether it's for the world or whether it's for your immediate family, it's really important to share those things. That's, that's how history gets passed down and that's how love gets passed down. For more on Jody and what she has coming up, visit writerjodymore.com.
Coming up, we'll talk to the CEO of Nessa Road & Loy about what's kept their business successful for the last seven decades. Judy Loy has had quite a journey at the investment